Hi, welcome to DIY Ideas. And today um, we're going to make these really cute coasters. Okay, so um, you can totally vary the size here. You can make much bigger ones if you wanted to, um, you know, for your table, for whatever you want to use it for, for your coffee pots. Um, it doesn't really matter at all. Uh, the size is totally up to you. On the back side here we have one fabric and on the top fabric we have four different um, uh, fabrics here. And you could even put like a business card inside of here. So if you maybe want to make it for your, you know, cafe that you open up. All right, have fun. Okay, so to make these coasters, uh, we need some, some sort of scissor um, or like a roll cutter, depending on what you have. Um, something maybe a little pointy. Um, a few um, clamps here and then a fabric pen uh, that you can either erase out or wash out or iron out. Uh, we don't need a special yarn or anything. Um, it could be really any yarn um, because this will all be hidden later. Then we need um, fabric, obviously. Uh, we have a little plate here as a guide and um, yeah, I gave it about a, a diameter of like 15 centimeters um, because I might want to put bigger um, cups on it later. You can make this all, you know, smaller, bigger, um, doesn't really matter as long as the five circles are the same size. And then, you know, you can make something cool for maybe for a centerpiece for your table or something like that. Um, I chose two of the same fabrics here because one of them will be on the bottom and then the other four fabrics will be on the top. Okay, let's see. I'm going to just start and go ahead here. And this is my first circle that um, will be the base for everything. Then we have circle number two. We fold it in half. And then I'll put it um, onto the first circle. So the perspective here is not so breezy, <laughs> but this I think is working well. Um, okay, so next, next um, circle, we fold it in half as well. Okay, this is already came apart. <laughs> um, obviously, I want you to show you. I wanted to show you this, um, but you know. You could iron over these so that um, they stay nicely together, but I'm not going to do this extra work. I'm just going to hold it with my fingers and um, I'm putting the second circle here at a 90 degree angle. Then I'm taking the next one, also fold it in half. Okay, I'll put it on top. I'll put it on top of the other circle. And then here, it should be, you know, matching so that they, you know, fill the whole circle and that we have right angles everywhere. I think it's not 100% fitting here yet. I'm going to pull it a little bit so that it's um, just a little better. And then I'll take the fourth and last circle here, fold it in half again. And then I will put it over here, also over the base, but obviously we want to see all of our fabrics here, so I'm going to lift the first one up and put the half of this one underneath the first one. Okay, now with these little pins that we have, um, or these little clamps, um, we can just kind of fix it, secure it, um, like this. And best is definitely to put these clamps right where um, the fabrics meet. So then everything is held in place nicely together. And then when everything's looking good, we can put our single seam. This is actually yeah, super great for beginners because we only need to um, sew one thing. Um, so here we have about a centimeter for the seam. We will use a straight, um, stitch with 2.5 length and this should be you know working really nicely if you wanted to um, if you have a fabric that's you know 
maybe coming apart a little bit, you can go over it again. But for most fabrics, this should work um, pretty well with just one um, stitch. If you wanted to, you can use your uh, ruler here to make sure that, um, you know, every, every fabric has about, you know, a fourth of the circle. But, you know, it is a homemade piece of art, so it can look like a homemade piece of art. I'm going to start here where two of these fabrics are lapping over each other. Um, and I think this is uh, the best place to kind of hide, you know, the beginning stitches here. <laughs> Even if we turn it all around later on, um, but still. Okay, now if you want to, um, you can take your scissor and kind of cut it a little closer to the seam. Um, and also just so that the places where the fabrics overlap are just, you know, a little neater. And this is the moment of truth. <laughs> we will now turn it all inside out and see what it looks like. All right, I think this turned out really well. I'm going to iron over it here um, and then everything should look a little smoother and a little flatter. <laughs> and then you can rest your cup, your glass or whatever um, a little nicer. All right, so here is our coaster, and I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, then go ahead and get comfy and make some coasters, uh, either as gifts or for yourself, maybe even a centerpiece. Um, and if you have any questions or you have any comments or you have any ideas for what else you want to see, then please go ahead and write it into the comments. And now I can only wish you um, yeah, a nice day and say see you next time. Bye!